Today I'm going to tell you the counter to every operator in the game. But that's not all. Not only will you learn the best strategic counter to each operator, but I'm going to give you the best rat strategy for each operator as well. I'm a rat! The strat version is going to be a consistent and strategic counter that you can get better at with practice, while the rat version will be a higher risk less consistent, and overall worse way to counter the operator, but it's more fun and less work. This way also relies pretty heavily on the enemy's laziness and is therefore less consistent, but it's more fun, so who cares? For example, Sledge is countered by a C4 through the floor as he goes to breach from above, which is made much easier with a Valk or a Pulse, but that's just the strategic way to do it. What about my Crouch Walkers, my No Droners, the people that seemingly do the dumbest things ever, but it somehow still works? Well, your go-to rat play to counter Sledge is gonna be to set up a castle and hide on the other side of it. When Sledge inevitably comes to smash it down, you're gonna be right there to greet him with the surprise of his life. Death. Next up we have Thatcher, and the strategic counter to him would be bandit tricking, or just running other forms of utility that he can't do anything against, like Gazami barriers and shields. If you want to be a jerk about it and do it the rat way though, you can pick Wamai and hide a disc somewhere outside. This will catch his first EMP gadget and help out whoever on your team is trying to keep the wall closed. He's still gonna have two more after this though, so there's really no guarantees here. Ash is trash, but her trashness also makes her very easy to counter. Because she has nothing to clear any ADSs or Wamai this ahead of time, running Jaeger and Wumai and placing them around your bulletproof utility will do the trick. This will force her to get some help ahead of time before she can blow up your utility. However, as we all know, Ash mains have a bad habit of not using their utility anyway, which happens to include drones. So therefore the ultimate rat counter to the ultimate rat player is really just running Capcan or proning around corners with a shotgun, personal favorite. What about Thermite though? He's a strategic operator, so how can we out-strategy him? One option is bandit tricking. Bandit tricking has multiple different tiers of strategies which can range from a single player playing bandit to an entire competitive five-man strategy that revolves around it. Getting good at being able to ban a trick is worth your time. Another strategic way to counter Thermite is by banning Thatcher and Cade tricking. Using both claws to trick the Thermite as he places it will make it very difficult for the enemy team to land their impact EMPs to actually get it. If you prefer the rat version to countering Thermite though, you can tase them off with a sneakily placed Maestro Cam or impact trick above the wall to destroy them. These are both bomb site dependent, but might be worthwhile. The counter to Twitch is to place mute jammers on single doorways to make it difficult to zap them and most of the time get her drones caught in them. If you're a rat preferred individual, there's not too much you can do here except for being on drone watch the entire round and standing right on top of your utility in hopes that the drone will accidentally tase you instead of that tiny little bar on the mirror window. Not for me though, I suck and this guy is way better. Monty is annoying as hell, so I'm sure there's many people wondering the optimal way to counter him. The most obvious pick is to go Oryx and Kool-Aid man him once he's alone. Smoke is also a great option to deny those site executes and plants that try to go down behind him. Him. My fellow rats, however, will get extra sophisticated by picking Clash and winning the Battle of the Shields by doing damage on top of being a total Omega loser. Glass is not the best operator in the game by any means, but he can be frustrating to deal with at times. Smoke is the number one strategic counter here by far. When the Glass smokes, you smoke their smoke. That ensures that they can't walk through it or plant in it with the glass to cover, and as long as you don't peek past that point, you're safe. Avoid the smokes at all costs, whether you're on smoke or not. I shouldn't have to really say this, but don't peek a glass with smokes up. Warden is another option, but he's higher risk depending on whether or not you get to the angle before the glass does. Or we can just bring Clash out again. Rat mode! I'm a rat! Fuse is a definite favorite at lower ranks, but he's easily countered by good players. The easiest of all being to see for him from below because of his loud and long deployment time on his gadget. Another easy solution is to contest the floor above by roaming there and killing him before he even gets the opportunity to use his cluster charges. The quick fix rat solution is to hide in the area you think he's going to come in from and then when the time is right you bend him over as he bends over to place his fuse charge. Or maybe just spawn kill him. Rat certified! Blitz players can either ruin your entire day or be a free kill for the defense. The choice is yours. Strategically, you can run impact grenades and as many traps as necessary while also barricading as many doors as you can. Not only does this waste his time, but it gives you a big heads up as to where he's coming from, allowing you to adjust your position accordingly to take him out. The worst part about Blitz is how fast he gets up in your face to blind you, so using barricades to avoid that happening is the key here. Or we can just pick Mute and sit on top of the Mute Jammer 
armor so his shield doesn't work, making him an absolute freebie. Rat mode. rat a tat tat <laughs> IQ is pretty mid, and it would be kind of weird to target, counter, and IQ, but I suppose you could counter her by simply not running any info operators. Speaking to castle, bulletproof cameras, shields, a zombie barriers, and stuff that's gonna make her scanner practically useless makes her gadget useless too, because her scanner is her gadget. Now, if you want a little bit of extra sauce, run frost. After not seeing the trap on her scanner, she might even get the bonus effect of her legs being snapped in half over her forehead by a bear trap. Poggers. Now, IQ might be kind of garbage, but Buck isn't. To strategically counter Buck, you want to contest control of where he would go to be the most effective. This will stop him before he gets to the point where a skeleton key can be most useful. Either he picks a less effective area, therefore weakening his pick, or he tries to take the contested area and you clap his cheeks. Go! Or you could just stuff your face in his buck holes the second he opens them and hopefully catch him with his skeleton key out, netting you the kill. Pretty high risk though, maybe we just stick to impacting the wall beside him as he's staring at the roof. Blackbeard isn't great, but he can definitely be frustrating at times. The key here is to use utility to avoid gunfights with them. I know you want to peek everyone and everything, but doing it against a Blackbeard is inadvisable. Impacts, traps, shields, and C4s, or anything to chip away at his health is the play. Now, although it's inadvisable if you are going to go the I can't stop peeking approach, pick a gun with a high fire rate, and ideally you have ping over 75 so that way his shield, along with his face, have been melted before he even gets the opportunity to pull the trigger. So yeah, if you're a rat, maybe just swing him with the best gun in the game. That could work. If you want to counter Capitao, run Wamai. His gadget is the only hard counter to the bolts, but you can also counter those smoke bolts with smoke himself. To my rats out there, swinging Capitao when he has his crossbow out is a high risk play that can pay off with a free kill as long as he has no teammates to cover him, which is actually most of the time. People are really bad at using teamwork in this game. Habana is best when used for hatches because she can get more than any other hard breacher. Therefore, Cade Claws on the hatches are going to be the best counter to her. And banning Thatcher makes this even easier. Don't want to run Cade? No problem. You can hide on the floor above the hatch, make a little line of sight with your gun or an impact grenade, and then shoot the pellets off from above. You can even do the same thing using a maestro cam. Toe smelling jackal players have a tendency to rely fully on the jackal scanner and not drone at all. Cap can traps have a very high kill potential here, and even if you don't get them, you still have a great weapon and a C4 to work with. The rat strat, however, is to pick Cav. Cav has some major risk factors as drones still work against her, but if they are relying on that jackal scanner alone, her her silent set makes sure that she doesn't leave any footprints behind. This makes it super easy to avoid Jackal, hide in a random spot in the map, and then catch literally anyone by surprise. Ying is painfully strong, but Jaeger, Wamai, and Warden all make her easier to deal with. Running all three is certified Ying safety, but C4ing her or the planner from below works on a lot of the bomb sites that she's strong on. Zofia is a one woman army, but soaking up her utility is really your only option when it comes to strategy. Stacking Wamai disc and Jaeger ADSs and a shield is a great way to do that, but it's easily broken down once the attackers start to work together. My rat style play of choice is to use smoke to push her back from the utility once she's burned the ADSs with her stun grenades. Get stunned, smoke her off. That way even if she wanted to, she can't clear the utility or push through her stun without taking a lot of damage or potentially being killed by the smoke. By the time the smoke fades, the ADSs will have reset and she'll be back to square one, minus her utility. When Dote calls you on her cell phone late night when you need her love, play mute. Placing mute jammers around where your roamers or teammates are playing will keep their phones on silent, rendering Doke useless. A lot of Doke players, myself included, rely on the audio from the calls to understand where the roamers are, and this will falsify that information in an instant. Or we can just become a rat god and spawn kill Doke! No cams for you, buddy! Lion is similar to Dokabi, but heavy utility is a good strategic way to counter him. Sitting behind a shield or a zombie barrier and then peeking off of it when you see an enemy essentially makes the lion scan useless. If you move when you peek, sure, they'll see the pings, but you'll have the cover of the shield which they probably knew you were sitting behind anyway. If you want to be a beast like me though, just pick Vigil and when the scan comes on, turn your scanner on to make yourself immune. This is the prime time to peek everyone because high aggression is the last thing they're expecting. Here. Vinka has been sitting quietly in the nerfed graveyard for a little bit now, but she's by no means a bad operator. Smoke does extra damage to the entire attacking team when her adrenaline surge is active, and he's a great option to make her even less appealing to play. Rats of the world will make the obvious choice of running Frost as attackers down in the mats can't be revived by Finca. That, or they'll go Rook Shotgun to level the extra health playing field. Plus, I mean, Rook Shotgun is just legendary. Maverick was one of my favorite ops before he lost his grenades and the EMP gadget came out, and the reason for 
after this is that he was uncounterable. The only way to counter Maverick is to kill him. Besides that, his biggest weakness is time. The strategic way to counter Mav is to just let him be. Let him waste his own time with the wall, and if he makes the mistake of exposing himself, take the free kill and walk away with it. The secret here is to not force it. EMP gadgets and other hard breachers are just better options in the current meta, but Maverick is literally countering himself just by being Maverick. However, if you are in the rat mindset, let's just force that kill, baby. Getting into a high risk spot to try and take out the Mav will increase the likelihood that you'll land the kill, but also the likelihood likelihood that you're the one who gets killed. Now that is a certified rat move. Next up, we have Nomad. Using impacts, proning, and making different vertical holes to shoot the air jabs is the best way to counter her. Just getting rid of them makes her ability worthless and forces the enemies to have to actively watch the runouts or flanks. For a rat power move, play mute and mute off the air jab. This will silently jam the air jabs without the other team realizing, and the next thing you know, you're flanking without them hearing any bullets or an explosion, and it will most likely end up with them questioning their entire reality and the existence of the universe itself. Gridlock is like like Nomad, but worse. Just destroy the tracks as soon as you can and you've countered her. Don't flank right after breaking them. That's dumb. Just shoot them early and wait a bit and then flank any time after that. This has the same premise as Nomad, but the tracks are just easier to shoot and require less risk to actually deal with. If you're in the mood for some fun though, just make a single path through the tracks and get through them as quickly as possible. This will save you time and ammo, allowing you to charge through on the flank while keeping ammo available for shooting the actual enemies. And now we've finally gotten to the king of the rats, Knock. How do you outrat the king of the rats? You have to assassinate him, of course. We outrat Look the ultimate rat by none other than sitting in a random corner. Wait it out, rat it out, and the next thing you know, you might just get the opportunity to assassinate the king himself. Strategically speaking, Solus is the number one option as she can see Knock while she has her ability active. Calling this information out to your team is pivotal, but you could also just run trap operators like Malusi for information around the site that doesn't rely on you actively watching those locations. Amaru is a very high risk operator in most cases, but she can be pretty tough to deal with at certain ranks. A great strategy to prepare for her better is to break the glass on windows during the prep phase. This will make the audio outside the window much louder, meaning you'll hear that grappling hook earlier on and from farther away inside. Good positioning at the start of the round with different teammates spread out to different areas of the map is the best way to deal with her though. Worst case scenario, your inner rat will tell you to bring frost mats and traps and place them in common spots that Amaru players typically fly in from. Kali is garbage. I will live and die on this hill. Kali is literally useless if you just don't peek her. Let her waste her own time baiting and spawn or more likely the ruins of coastline. If you need to counter her lance, bandit tricking against it is very, very easy. If that's not enough, picking Rook will ensure that those sniper bullets will not insta-kill you and that way when she snipes you from 7.28 miles away, the worst case scenario is you pull off a self-revive and get back in the fight. And while Kali might suck, Yana is the complete opposite, an absolute power chad, I mean powerhouse that is the pinnacle of solo queue operators. Her clones provide so much information, so the key to countering her is stopping that from taking place by using Vigil or Mute. Making her information misinformation will ensure that her clones aren't as useful as she'd like them to be. Now that can seem complex, and it also requires the rest of your team to do their job, so when in doubt, rat it out. Using cap can traps or just hiding from the clones allows you to maybe get a lucky kill with the traps or pop out of hiding and shoot the real Yana after she's cloned out the room and thinks it's clear. Ace is a game-wide top pick, and there's a good reason for that. His breaching is fast, efficient, safe, and can be performed at range. He's tough to counter, he's just really good. So let's just not counter him. Giving up the breach and letting Ace do his thing is actually the best strategic option. Using shields and other utility to deal with the attackers after they've opened the breaches is a good choice. Using C4s or smokes in an eye plant and holding run-ins off a bulletproof camera is a good tactic, but difficult to master. Because that's so tough, I have a couple rat options on my list here. Firstly, you could prone underneath the Ace hole if it's vaultable. If the Ace is high up on the wall before it's open, just sneak in there and wait it out. If you're droned out, you're definitely screwed, but hey, I believe in you. Option two is bandit tricking, which is very difficult against the speed of Ace's charges, making it high risk as well. Maybe you'll get lucky and the Ace player will mess up though, making it a hard counter and seriously improving your odds of winning the round. Zero is next up and he can be a very strong pick, but also a very weak one. It just depends on the map and how the round actually plays out. Strategically, you don't have to do anything special, just play near the entrances of the building to shoot the cameras if they come. That will limit the amount of cams Zero will have and make it easier for yourself to 
realm. If you really struggle against Zero, Solus is a good option with a kit that makes her good for much more than just that. The rats of the world will see a Zero cam and then elect to hide in a blind spot of the camera. The room might look and seem clear on the cam, but it turns out that little corner behind the filing cabinet? Yeah. There's a little rat boy in there. Sorry, Zero. The next stop is a machine of utility destruction. It's Flores. These drones can clear so much and individually Flores is a major threat for the structure of a defense. That's why Mute is such a good option against him. Muting off the doorways to your utility or just right beside your utility will protect it from those nasty Rateros. If you're not in the mood for that, you can try to see for him or run out on him when you hear him get on the drone, which could really go either way depending on if he has cover or not. All I know is that I got you covered because Osa is a nice nightmare to deal with sometimes. Well, here I have the Krabby Patty secret formula of solving your OSA problems. Impact grenades. But not just impact grenades, properly used impact grenades. A lot of people will see OSA about to place her shield or just walking around with it out and then proceed to waste their impacts trying to kill her. This is not the play. Wait until she's placed her shield down fully to impact and destroy the shield. She only has two shields. You only have two impacts. Now, if that's too tough and you suck too much, Let's get a little risky with okay. it. Bring Ella and chuck those sticky boys at her forehead when her shield is out. That will concuss her swinging the shield to the side and give you the opportunity to do some damage. Might take a couple mines, you might get slaughtered by a different attacker in the process, but at least you tried. And the definition of at least you tried is sense. Sense is a headache to use, but if those ROE walls happen to work correctly, you might need a counter. Any explosive utility will break the walls, but Warden is hands down the best defense for it. Just turn your goggles on and shoot everyone. Problem solved. Not on Warden though. Luckily, there's a rat solution here for you. Walk through the walls with your huge nuts and hope they're not looking. Maybe throw some stuff through the wall first, like a smoke or a C4 to distract them and push through at the same time. This will actually work a surprising amount of the time. Perks of having massive balls. Am I right? <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you have massive balls. Let me know about your massive balls in the comments. Lastly, for the attackers, we have Grim, the worst op in the game. 99% of the time, the counter here is just don't walk through the bees because they only last like 0.4 seconds. I mean, come on, we all know Grim is terrible. If for whatever reason he's really getting you down though, you can run Wamai or Mute, but I just prefer shooting him in the face while he has his bees out. It takes so long to deploy them that just literally peeking him might be the best counter of all. Now it's defense time, arguably the easier side, therefore meaning it's more difficult to counter. But mainly that's just because most people suck at droning or just straight up refuse to do it. It. But no worries because our rat strats have that part covered. First up is Smoke, and if you've watched the first half of this video, you would know that he's a fantastic counter to basically everything. So how do you counter him? Well, considering he's one of, if not the best operator in the game, it's not very straightforward. Strategically speaking, you can bait out his smokes by faking the plant, but an easier solution is to sneak into the backside as knock as the execute is going down. That way you can catch Smoke off guard as he's attempting to deny the plant, but it is easier said than done. Worst case scenario, the smoke is absolutely pummeling your team and you charge headfirst through the gas as it's going off to try and win the gunfight or catch him with his smoke out. Either way, a very good smoke player is one of the hardest things to counter in R6. You're looking for a new main? Maybe try out Smoke. Mute is up next as another very strong defender who counters many of the attacking operators. The key to countering Mute is Thatcher. Using EMPs to clear mutes and give your droning abilities back is important, although not very used often very much. English. Especially when you're trying to use Flores, Thatcher is going to be your best friend. If that doesn't seem like a great time though, you can completely skip the droning process and just charge through the map. If that's already what you do, then Mute really won't be impacting your playstyle at all. So now that two of the best defenders are out of the way, let's talk about Pulse. As a team, the strategic go-to would be to hunt down the Pulse and try to take him out first. He can be a nuisance that makes or breaks around whether it's the unlimited info for his team or denying the plant for the win. Either way, dealing with him early on will save you the hassle later on. Rat strats involve completely avoiding him along with every soft floor you can and planting on indestructible surfaces, or going IQ and hunting him down solo while your team does whatever the hell they want. Castle is also a very strong defender who can rework the map to make for intricate strategies that are the crux of default takes. Sledge is the strategic backbone of breaking down castles as he can open them up with minimal effort while maintaining maximum efficiency. Opening up as many of these barricades as you can will ensure that Castle isn't taking over the round. If you want to one-up it, you can make the high-risk play of blasting directly into the site as fast as possible and forcing the defenders to retake on their own castle strategy. Castle strats are kind of like 
like card towers. Intricate in design, but as soon as one card falls, the whole thing comes falling down. Doc is a tough one, especially if you can't land headshots, but playing in a hard to lose position where you only expose a very small portion of your body while seeing as much of the enemy as you can will help. That way you're a tough target to hit while the other player is as easy to shoot as possible. This will make it easier to finish your kills without getting smoked as often. If they're completely dead, they can't get their health back. Or you can literally just go blitz and glass to make sure that they can't fight back at all. Strategy. Rook is similar to Doc, but strategically you just need to be better. The better your aim and headshot percentage, the less effective Rook becomes, so get into the aim labs and shoot straighter. If you're feeling like a lazy rat, however, you can just go lion shotgun and get real up close and personal. Nothing survives the SGCQB shotgun. Nothing. Jaeger is such a simple operator to play, so he defaults as just something to deal with in most cases. Burning the ADSs for your team so that they can clear the utility works well, but it does require some teamwork. If you play anyone with flashes in a Gon 6, you can do it yourself, which is quite nice. Now if you want a game changing rap play, go Twitch. If you can get your drone in a spot to tase an ADS, combo it up with a teammate grenading to guarantee a kill. As your teammate cooks the grenade to kill the defender, tase the ADS and before they have the chance to move, Kobe comes out of nowhere and dunks on them. Bandit is up next and I could make an entire book on the different counters for this dude, but by far the best one is to nade him through the floor while he's bandit tricking. Not only will you destroy the bandit batteries, but there's no indication that you're doing it. ADSs won't stop you, and you should get a free kill on top of all of that. If you suck and you want an easier solution, you can always try to solo rush the bomb site from the opposite side and shoot him in the back instead. Capcan is one of my favorite operators simply because he is the counter to so many players who neglect droning and favor aggression. So the strategic counter is very simple as long as you have the patience for it. Droning and checking doorways is a simple solution here, but Twitch and Finca make for great operator picks if you're really struggling. Want to be a rat? Don't drone. Don't clear anything, but instead go as direct into sight as you can and check only the one or two doorways on your way there. Once you're in the site, do your best to just kill everyone and you're good to go. That's a strategy strategy, baby. Tachanka is, in my opinion, a worse version of Smoke, but time is one of his strengths. Strategically, you need to move as efficiently as you can throughout the start of the round so that you're not fully screwed by the time you get to the end. You can use Buck or Sledge to clear Tachanka out from above or below, or rat it out and literally walk straight through the Tachanka fire. The fire doesn't do enough damage to get even close to killing you, and Tachanka takes a long time to swap between his Shamika and his LMG, so this honestly isn't that bad of a plan. It's also part of the reason why I don't like Tachanka. Valkyrie is extremely good and can be banned a lot of the time, but she's not impossible to counter. The main issue is you need specific operators to counter her or have extremely disciplined droning. While IQ is a good option, Nock and Dokubi are my top picks. Nock breaks down the integrity of the cameras while Dok can go as far as to turn them against the defenders by hacking them. If you want to be a rat, however, sit underneath the bomb site or wherever your team is pushing from and wait for any defenders to rotate here for a C4. They might see a prime opportunity on the camera only to be granting themselves their own death sentence when going for that nitro from below. What about Frost? Strategically speaking, you shouldn't waste your utility on the mats, but instead just shoot them as you hop in the window. Flores would be the best pick if you want to destroy as many as possible and protect your teammates from having that fatal forgetfulness. You can also use drones ahead of time to spot them out, and mats placed on the floor you can walk around to stay stealthy. You want to have some more fun though? Get a teammate to intentionally jump into the frost mat, or just tell them there isn't one there if you're really messed up, and then you bait his downed body. When a defender comes to confirm the kill, you might be able to get it on them instead. I don't think this is a good idea by any means, and this isn't probably something I would do, but if it works, you'll at least feel like an Omega genius. Echo is a super underrated operator, but most people are pretty average with his gameplay. You can use IQ for the best results against him, or you can try to walk straight into the bomb site while your team is clearing to try and catch him on his cameras. And if Nock is the king of the rats, who better to be the queen than Cav? Strategically speaking, having good drones that provide information on where she is will be what allows you to get the jump on her instead of her jumping all over you. However, that's a lot to ask, which is where a rat strats of Blitz and Dokubi come into full effect. Having Dok call the roamer cell phones and then getting Blitz to sprint around the map chasing the sound of them will ensure that Cav sneak turns into worthlessness as you track her down, 
take her out, and then hack her cams. Too easy. Mira is next up, and she's very, very strong, so this one's good to know. Countering her strategically comes down to a couple options. You can use Range Breach from Ace or Havana to destroy the Mira windows, or you can use Smokes when the time is right to block off the line of sight and push through. Twitch drones are actually the rat strat in this circumstance because they're not always a reliable way to get the Mira window open, and pretty often they can get either muted or just shot, but it's an option. How do you counter lesion though? Good droning to find the mines beforehand in order to shoot them as you push in are the best bet here. If you wanna make a smart rat play, you can actually use lion to call a scan which will cover up the sound of you shooting the goo mine and legion might not even realize that you've made it past his information. Ellis traps can easily be destroyed with explosive utility along with anything else in the vicinity like barbed wire or malusi whoops. Strategically speaking, you just wanna get rid of them at some point before you decide to push. However, if you don't destroy them, but you want to make a rat play, running a suppressor and shooting the nub of the Grismont mine is a great way to get rid of it without activating it. The defenders won't even realize it's gone, and you might be able to catch some fools off guard. On guard! No, no, wrong video, wrong video. Vigil can be super difficult to deal with if not locked down, and can sometimes single-handedly dismantle a roam clear. Using Jackal in combination with drones, however, will make it much easier to pinch him into an area and take him out. Or we can bring out the Blitz Doke once more and ruin his day. Maestro is a solid it up, easy to counter, but solid nonetheless. Using Flores, explosives, or EMPs are all valid ways to get rid of his utility, but the thing is you actually have to use your utility to do it, which most people seem to forget. The rat solution is simple. You can just go knock and walk right into sight while they're on the cameras to massacre anyone you can find. I'm not sure how much this one would actually work but it's an option. Albi is still a beast right now, but to counter her, you'll just want to get rid of those prismas ASAP. Using Twitch for this is pretty reliable, but anything will work, including just shooting the base of them. The real strength of Alibi comes from her insane weapon, however, so worst case scenario, you bring out Blackbeard and swing her before she can swing you. Problem solved. Dunzo. Done. Next up, we have Clash. Banned in bronze, broken in gold, and unpicked in champ. So how do we counter this annoying, toxic, widely hated operator? There's a few options, but teamwork is the best of them all. Probably why she's used so much in gold. Cause skulls don't know how to play as a team. Using Zofia, you can stun Clash while your teammates blast her ankles. That, or you can simply ignore her and take out the infinite amount of defenders that will be swinging behind her. Another option is to leave one teammate to distract her from a safe distance while the rest of your team spreads out across other areas of the map and looks for picks on unsuspecting defenders. The King of the Rats would tell you to just use EMPs to disable her shield and then full sprint at her to melee her ankle shoot repeat. That does hope that she has no teammates around though, so. Good luck. Kate is hated a lot too, and banned pretty frequently in most ranks. Thatcher is by far the best way to counter him though, as you can get the claws without a worry in the world. If you throw two Thatcher EMPs about five seconds apart, it will not only get the claws, but ruin any hopes of Kate's tricking simultaneously. In some circumstances, you can even ace the sides of hatches like the kitchen hatch on Clubhouse to avoid the Kate claw completely. Or just play Mav and make random holes in the wall to shove your face in like a psychopath. Mozzie is basically the budget version of Mute, so the rules of of countering him are pretty similar, but I'll give you something else to work with. Strategically, you can throw drones through doorways instead of driving them to avoid the pest at the bottom of the doorway. The rat way to dodge mozzie pests, however, is to jump your drones around them. By checking each side of the doorway, the side with the pest will blink faster. Simply go to the other side and hop your drone through the door and you should be able to avoid it. If the pest is right in the middle of the barricade, just get off your drone and shoot it and then proceed. Easy as that. Mustachio is a living legend in R6 with the ultimate Ned Flanders hairstyle and supreme lawyer-esque drip. The strategic counter would be not to use smoke grenades. Use other methods to take the bomb site and win the round. Just don't use smokes. If you don't feed his ability with the smoke grenades, he's just another guy with some guns, rendering his ability useless. Now you're only pushing into four sets of defender utility instead of five. Countering Warden with Glaz is the rat strat and the polar opposite of the strategic advice. Use your smokes and hold the angle before he gets to it, and you should come out on top in this battle of the smoke grenade. You gotta hope he peeks you for that one though. Post rework Goyo is pretty solid, but Twitch drones are the ultimate ultimate counter. Using Twitch drones early in the round to get rid of as many of those four canisters as possible ensures that they won't be there to ruin your day near the end of the round. It's very effective and probably my favorite use for Twitch. That or you can just walk into sight when you probably shouldn't and that'll most likely be before they get the chance to activate them. Well, Mai is next to the chopping block and his counter is pretty simple. If you drone out the discs, a lot of the time they're placed in areas where you can actually shoot them. Even better, if they're grouped together, you can use a single explosive to destroy them all. 
all, or just run some more Twitch. If all else fails, you can completely ignore Wamai by using Ying to rush the bomb site before he's gotten the opportunity to charge up more than two discs. Now, how do you take down a 6'5", 287 pound man who can smash through walls and has the best defender weapon in the game? To counter Oryx, you can use Nomad, Gridlock, or just solid drones to lock down the flank and keep Oryx at bay. Taking minimal map control and holding onto it for dear life will stop him from sprinting around the map, picking off your team one by one. Jackal tracking helps keep him maintained, but you can also just sit in a random corner around the map and wait for him to fly past you. He's a traveler and gets around pretty often, so just waiting is fairly ratty, but also fairly effective. Next we have Malusi, who can be easily countered with Flores drones or just anyone with explosive utility. If that's too easy and too boring for you though, you can embrace your inner rat by sitting right on the edge of the Malusi radius so that it doesn't activate. That way you can pick off any defenders that walk by a little too comfortably or extend out a little too far. Aruni is a top op right now, so knowing the best way to counter her should come in handy. Burning those gates at the right time is important so that the defenders don't reset them over and over again. Getting rid of them so that teammates can clear utility is great, especially if you play Habana. You can just set your pellets to two and burn the gates as many times as you need for a very small price. If that's not really for you though, you can just pick Finca and walk straight through the gates like a freaking nuts dude. Are you a nuts dude? Cause you could do that. Stim right before and just walk through. You'll tank the damage and overall you're only losing 10 health by doing this. Thunderbird is a popular op, but sometimes she can even be a detrimental pick on the wrong sites. The key to countering her is to push for site control and take over the Kona stations. You can use them against the other team by gaining this control, making their retake even more difficult. Unlock your inner rat by amaroing into the bomb site early. It's a massive risk, but if you get the dirty work done, you'll be right back up to full health afterwards. Thorn can be lethal at times, but the key is that you cannot let her traps beat you. If you die to a thorn trap, that is f***ing embarrassing. If you die in a thorn trap, she has already won. Destroy her traps and her utility is useless. It's similar to Ella, except they take a much longer time to deploy, but you can still use a suppressed weapon to shoot them before they activate to get rid of the information and sneak up on the defenders. That, or you can plow through them. As long as you keep moving forward, they won't deploy fast enough to actually get you. Azami Mami is one of the strongest defenders right now, so naturally knowing how to counter her is probably a good idea. Destroying the Kibas using Flores, Zofia, Ash, or even Sledge is the move. Try to break all those bad boys, but be careful of any rat plays a zombie might make using her barriers. You might be able to rat around by getting up close on one and hiding behind it, but I feel like that might be a tough job. You can even attempt to use them against her as well by planting behind them using their own barriers as cover for you. Lastly, we have the newest operator in the game, Solus. Solus is a beast and extremely strong. She counters so many operators and does so much, so how the hell do we deal with her? Blitz? Nope, she'll see him coming. Knock? No, unfortunately she'll get you there too. Saving drones in prep phase and literally just banning her are really the only two options I have. IQ is plausible, but only has a slightly larger range than Solus, and Solus can see IQ as well, making it a fairly even fight. If you get down to the plant, make sure you're planning on an indestructible floor or some sort of desk that she can't shoot you through. Thankfully though, we also have rat tactics to get the job done. Crouch walking around the entire map without droning is tactic number one, but this is really 50-50 and anything could happen. The second option is to bait Solus on a run out by getting on your cams next to an exterior entrance that she's nearby. At the same time, have a teammate stare directly at that entrance to wait for that fool to fly out trying to get you on the cams. If she's nearby and does see you on the cameras, it's practically a guarantee that she's gonna do this. If you're looking to get better at Rainbow Six, I have even more tips on my Patreon page. I also upload weekly match breakdowns over there to get a better in-depth understanding of Rainbow Six and the philosophies behind the game. It's also a great way to support me and my channel and I really do appreciate it. Let me know your favorite rat strats that weren't mentioned in this video in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. Bye bye